What's up guys, Leslie Robbins here for Young Hollywood, standing outside the famed Crossroads Kitchen. The man to my right, he's the man behind the magic, Chef Tal Ronin. Thank you for having us. Of that course. is a packed house back there. Yeah, it's uh, right in the middle of the lunch service, so we'll show you the floor, the kitchen, and tell you about what we do. Now, what you did do is find the best piece of property in Los Angeles. <laughs> you can't miss this restaurant and you're on Melrose. It's a good spot, yeah. It's a good spot. Let's go see how good the food is. Great. <laughs> so tell me how the concept for this place came about. Ali's always been great for plant-based, vegan, vegetarian, whatever you want to call it, but there was never a place that was a little more formal with a full bar and white tablecloth. So that was kind of the idea was to have a place where you don't need to use the word vegan or vegetarian. And it's important for us to show people that Eating a vegan diet doesn't mean you're being punished. Let's just get down to it. Your menu is so unique. The menu's always changing. We're doing about four hard resets a year, so the menu changes four times a year, but in between there's a ton of other changes, and that's because we're very produce driven. We decided that we're gonna stick to what we know. The whole menu is very cohesive, so all your soups, pizzas, Hot, fresh pastas that we make, they're very familiar. Yeah. So it's not like walking into a vegetarian restaurant where you have to guess what everything is. Right. The food's really familiar. You have a stunning bar. You have your own menu of cocktails and drinks. So we didn't want any other vegan cues in the restaurant, like a juice bar or right. you know, bamboo or green paint. <laughs> So we, we designed the restaurant to look like, you know, a cozy Upper West Side kind of steakhouse. I'm going to ask you to put on your teacher hat again. Okay. Because I want you to teach me what you know. All right, let's get cooking. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna show you how to make our corn on your loti. Okay. And we make fresh pasta every day, every shape, size you can think of. And these little guys, they look like little pillows. Yeah. And we stuff them with fresh corn and almond ricotta cheese, that's it. Very simple. This is gonna go in salted boiling water. We're gonna put a little bit of corn sauce. Corn sauce. You don't see corn sauce every day. It's literally just corn juice. A little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper. And some fresh chives. And you can see it's already thickening up. Yep. These are ready, they're just floating up to the top. That was under like three minutes, yeah. Yeah. And that's in going in the corn sauce. Just very light. And it looks like summer. It's summer outside, it's hot outside. That plate looks like summer. It's, yeah, it's real amazing. simple. Parmesan cheese that's made out of coconut. Love and coconut. Yeah. Really simple corn on your loti. I've already unfolded my napkin, chef, because I am ready to dig in. But right. I see I see little accessories on the table, and they're really pretty. Yeah, the summer cocktails are great. That's a vodka-based cocktail, and this is bourbon. Cheers, cheers, <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. It smells good, too. Okay, do I cut the just one? No. Oh. No, it'll, yeah. I feel bad you're not eating. So no dairy, but still tastes really creamy. Um, and it should just taste like corn. <laughs> Perfection. Perfection. Simple, right? Perfection. You don't want any? No, you can go ahead. Okay. Switch. No, you know what? No, it has to be finished. <laughs> I'll save one for the camera. <laughs> so this is a uh, panna cotta made out of coconut milk with a uh, hibiscus cherry sauce. No. Do I take a bite with everything and Yeah, um, cut off a little piece of the panna cotta and then just drag it through the sauce and the... Uh, what's the white stuff? It's some uh, hibiscus meringue. Yeah. Okay. And just go, right? Yeah. It's pretty cool, right? It's really special. That is... I see why Oprah loves you. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of the world. Thanks for having me. Incredible. All right. Incredible.